Another challenger. It has been ages. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. Wait, you guys, are you guys even seeing the thing? Okay, you are. Allow me to remind you. Play the squirrel card. Okay. I played the squirrel card. Now, play your stoat. Oh, I have to press S. Stoat costs one blood. Sacrifices must be made. An honorable death. Play the stoat. Wolves require two sacrifices. We don't have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn <clears throat> and commence combat. Your stoat stands unopposed. The number on the bottom left, it's attack power. One. Your stoat dealt one damage to me. I added to the scale. You win if you tip my side all the way down. Like this. My turn. Your stolt stands in the way of my coyote. My coyote dealt two damage to your stolt. That means your stolt health is two less. If a cute creature health reaches zero, it dies. It's your turn again. You may draw from your deck, or you may draw a squirrel. I mean, I can draw a squirrel and then... Yeah, I can draw a squirrel and then sacrifice it. How dull. Ah, don't judge me! Why are you judging me? Oh yeah, I have to press S to come back. And then I can sacrifice the stone and the squirrel. Huh, hey! Wait, did, was the card... Oh, its suffering was real, but you will see it again. And now I have a no and wolf. Yes, English, good. Because you are learning, I will pass. Again, the choice: a random card from your deck, or the certainty of a squirrel. I squirrel again, and I can pass because I'm gonna attack. Three damage dealt. Three de weights on the scale. Pass. Why are you passing, dude? Give me your best shot. A squirrel in hand or a card from the bush. Now I can play this squirrel. And then I can play another squirrel. And then I can murder both my squirrels for the wolf. And now I pass and you get destroyed because I attack a lot. Easy. You've won this match. They won't be all so easy. Let me recall your story. Ah, yes. You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. Two denizens of the forest approach you tentatively. The caustic adder. Damage from its poison bite is always lethal. The undying cat. Sacrificing the poor beast does not kill it. Ooh, that's actually pretty. That's broken. I want it already. Another creature joins your caravan. Ooh, I like this already. I'm already invested. Some of the creatures of the forest seem willing to follow you. You came across an abandoned sack. You found a squirrel in a bottle. Wait, <laughs> what? <laughs> Break in curse of emergency. And have a second. Yay, I have two squirrels in a bottle. Another useful implement. I will allow you to tip the scales with it. Uh, what does that mean? Three is as much as you can carry. So I got items from that. Oh, so it's basically it's basically like a, a roguelike game where 
the things on the map shows you what you can get. Like if you, in Hades, it shows you in the door what you're gonna get. You were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. <laughs> you sacrificed me while I was sleeping. It was the right play. I get it. Maybe. Maybe you help me? Take your turn. Play along for now. Okay, why do you talk? You may now see my moves ahead of time. Wait, what? Oh, you're gonna summon a wolf. Behold the rule book. Fledgling, a card bearing the sigil will grow into the more powerful form after one turn on the board. Um Wait, I can just place the squirrel for now cuz it's going to survive that, right? Uh I can place the thing. Yo, Scription, I love this game. Suck it, buzz. I'm I'm trying it out, man. Uh my computer is not handling it very well, but I am having um a lot of fun already. Um squirrel. Welcome to the chat, Succubus though. Okay, let me play the cat. If you need help, let me know. Oh, thank you, man. But I think it's pretty straightforward. I'm having fun already. Um, I used to play a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! when I was younger. So I do understand a little bit about card game. Here we go. And I do have a river snapper. Whip a snapper. Okay, wolf cub. And what is that? Mind the ambitions wolf cub. It ages swiftly. What is that? That's a bat. Airborne. A card, a card bearing the sigil will strike an opponent directly, even if there's a creature opposing it. So I need to kill it soon, right? It has only one health, so I might as well just put the, the, the snapper there. Squirrel. And then I sacrifice the cat and the squirrel to put the, the snapper there. Nice. Um, you may... Oh, yeah. Okay, it's my bad. <clears throat> that one weight on the thing. Now it's a wolf. The airborne bat, bat flies over creatures to attack directly. Ha, my bat flew right over your river snapper. It's okay, it's gonna die soon. Um, let me draw cards. Okay, now I have the wolf too. Uh, I can wait a turn and then sacrifice the cat and the stone to, to attack him directly. However, in the next turn, this boulder is gonna break. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so the wolf is gonna attack me. Um, I should probably defend that, right? Okay, I have two wolves. This um, I can just do this and then do this, right? Yeah, man, the fucking cat is so broken already. <laughs> Let's go. You prevailed and tracked onwards past the now bloody terrain. I like how creepy it is. But yeah, Succubus, if you wanna, if you think I am doing poorly, please do tell me. But for now, I think I'm fine. The young wolf cub. It grows into a wolf after a, a single turn. The meek sparrow. An inexpensive, if feeble, flying creature. Um, I mean... I think with the cat, it would be better if I had the wolf cub, because I can just have another card going around. Flying creatures are good, but I don't think I'll, I have enough um, support for a flying deck right now. You stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. You were compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. Oh my god, this game... Yeah, here you go, it's happening. <laughs> Willow, with the hype! What's up, Willow? How you doing, bro? Yeah, I mean, it's not... My computer is not handling it the best, but I think it's fine. Um, my only problem with the game is that it's blocking too much of my screen. I wish I could shrink the, the resolution just a little bit, but for now it's fine. Oh, 
you were compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. Oh man, I don't want to sacrifice. Uh, I'm not gonna sacrifice the cat because why would I fucking sacrifice the, the my my favorite card so far? So let's go with the cub. You look upon the menagerie and selected a healthy host. Why would I pick you? I don't know, man. I'm not liking this. No, 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 no. How do I... How do I... Uh, what should I do? Because I don't want to sacrifice... Willow, what do I do? Help! I don't want to sacrifice my cards. I just got them. I don't want to... I am attached to them already. Can I not back out of this? Is this not a thing that I can do? Sure, let's go. Um, what am I doing though? Uh, sure. Don't sacrifice? Um, I can't. It doesn't let me not do that. I can't back out of this. But the stoat is telling me I'll go, so sure, I'll use the stoat. Um, sure, let's go. What an honor. Wait, what? A ghastly spectacle, but the soul of the cat- Oh! No escape does this. Oh, but I, sac I sacrifice my... Um... Okay, so now the, 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 the stoat has the power of the cat. So this is a good thing. Any one sack is good for infinite sacrifices. Yeah, I thought it was a bad thing, but apparently it's good. Okay, 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 okay. Wait a second. What is happening? Help! Panic! Behold my Tolton. It encries my canine cards with the airborne sigil. Wait a second. That's cheating. <laughs> He's completely insane. You see that, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Enough! Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. I see. Okay, so... Basically, every single card he has now fly. Any one sack is good. I do so. Yeah, I, di I did the stoat. <laughs> Bad coyote. Mm. Okay, let me see what I do. Um, stoat. How much health does the stoat have? Three. So you can survive. One hit uh, from the coyote. Oh, yeah. You're not going to even get hit because of the, the way the, the thing works. So, I'm gonna sacrifice and put the thing. Have you forgotten the items I gave you? Why would I use them? I don't need them. Back on the board. I don't feel like I need them. Because they're gonna deal... My wolf... My totem has granted my coyote with the power of flight. Yes, I know you're gonna do that. But then I'm gonna draw a squirrel. And then I'm gonna put it down. And then I can sacrifice the squirrel and the, the stoat, since the stoat is immortal, to place them down. So I just gonna kill your cards, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so you're gonna add a cub to the, the side. Um, I'll grab a squirrel for the next turn. But for now, I think I'm fine. I could drop a river snap. He's just gonna attack over it. You're far damage away from winning. I'm now five. Okay, now that I have two sacrifices... Okay, I can just set down all of them now. I just ignore the cub and out damage? I don't know what you mean. Um, I can sacrifice the stove to set the cub down. And can I put the squirrel and the river snapper down as sacrifices? Man, the the sacrifice the infinite sacrifice is so strong. Oh, I won already. Jesus. Okay, I see. Impressive. You may yet survive this ordeal.
Nice, nice, nice. This is, this is interesting. Sparrow, Adder, Raven. The conniving Raver. A blight upon the skies. I mean, he does do straight damage. I think I'm gonna grab the Adder, because the Adder is, is kind of like a, a good um, counter to strong enemies. Um, I can go to campfire or I can sacrifice again. I don't think I'm, I have another special. Or do I? I could make a flying stoat, right? No. I could make a, a, a one-shotting stoat. If I sacrifice the adder, right? Yeah, sacrifice the adder. Oh, I can't put it on the stoat, though. Mm, I, I'm just gonna put it on the wolf cub then. Yeah, there we go. Because now I don't have to use two sacrifices for the, the thing. I just made the, the thing better. Okay, another battle. Wait, what is that? Grand fur. What is a grand fur? What is happening? Why did the game freeze? Uh, Mighty Leap. A card be bearing the sigil will block an opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. Okay, so that's... Par oh, shit. That's a grizzly. Jesus Christ. Four and six? Okay, now I'm happy that I have uh, the wolf cub. Oh, you cannot draw a card on your first turn. Okay, I'm gonna have to wait for the, the thing or... In, in Bring the, the, the snapper on the thing. I can survive the first turn, right? I'm just gonna set the squirrel because I can. Oh, another grizzly? Jesus Christ. Um. Okay, squirrel, I can. First of all, let me. Oh. I need to choose first. Okay. I have a wolf, so another squirrel will be nice, but if I get the, the, the stone, I'm gonna grab another squirrel. Because I do have the plan on how to deal with the grizzly already. My wolf cub is gonna kill the, the grizzly already, and I can already be prepared with another squirrel for when the fur dies, right? And there, they have another sparrow. Okay, now it would be a... There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent or I will tear you to shreds. But the Grizzly has so much health, man. Oh, Lord. I think I might be losing this... Because I'm going to do 4 damage and he also is going to do 4 damage. So it's not going to change anything for now. Oh, wait, what? You've lost... Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Hey, Jesus fucking Christ. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. Oh, this is disorienting. Jesus Christ, this is very disorienting. Bring it here. Okay, stop. Stop hassling me then. Wait, why are you pointing? Now sit back down. Let me explain something to you. That was one of two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Ew, don't, please don't. Now, where were we? Um, card or... I, I, I'm full of items, so yeah. 
add another adder. Wa the watchful bullfrog. It leaps in the way of attacking flyers. And a sparrow. I can have another adder. I don't have too much sacrificing, man. I, I need more one blood things. We're gonna learn with time. <clears throat> you came across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunking from starvation, they huddle around the com campfire. They looked upon your your group of creatures and beckon. Come warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire that will enhance its power, said another. You notice one of the survivors while wiping drew from their mouth. Uh, I don't trust you. But I, but I didn't trust the other thing either. Stolt, you're gonna become my best card. Let's go. The fire warmed the poor Stolt, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached toward it. I've gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the stoat away from the fire and left. Jesus Christ. Um, and this is... Oh, that's cool. I like that. The trees seemed to close in around you as a chill mist descended. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. Yeehaw! It was the prospector! Good! <laughs> I like him already. Oh man, this game is so filled to the brim with style. Okay. What do you have here? You have a coyote and a pack mule. Sure. Squirrel. Uh, I'm gonna bullfrog already because I'm gonna start doing damage. Uh, it can survive the thing. Prospector's scary. I think it's fun. Look at him. Look at him go. Such a cutie. The adder. Mm. Oh shit, I didn't mean to click on that. Oh. He's doing this pro the prospector again? Easy boss. The muse key. Oh shit, okay, I'm gonna have to use my emergency squirrel because I picked by accident. Okay, squirrel. Stolt. Um, I'm not sure what I should be doing though. The way he plays is. but oh, he's pretty cute. <laughs> um, should I use another emergency squirrel? I think I'm fine for now. Because he has an adder here that's going to attack the boulder. That's fine for now. Is the adder going to kill the boulder? It, it does kill the boulder. That doesn't make sense. How is your venom so potent you can kill rocks? That doesn't make any sense. Um, okay, I need another squirrel. And then I can... Mule is super important. Okay, yeah, still told me that mule is important. Let's go. Um, I do have a wolf now, and I could no, I can't. Oh, the mule changed places. Wait, what is happening? I'm confused. No, 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 no. Let me. The clinking of metal is very distracting. Sprinter, at the end of the owner's turn, a card wearing the sigil moved to the direction inscribed on the chair. Oh, that's what is happening. Um, okay. Oh, really? Another wolf? I think I'm fine for now, though. I'm dealing more damage than they are. So it's fine. Is that another? No, that's not a, a wolf. Ooh, that's a problem, though. It's gonna kill my wolf. I don't think I can do anything about that. Okay, I can put down the squirrel, sacrifice the stone and the squirrel to put down a wolf that is gonna kill that. 
Okay, so it has an, a wolf cub coming around. I'm gonna grab another squirrel so I can set down my snapper for now. And R River Snapper is gonna tank for a while. Set down the thing, and that's my turn. Oh, I get. Oh, I get cards. That's fun. Porcupine, Elk, Sparrow. Dag, Nabbit, my mule! <laughs> I like him. He's pretty cute. <laughs> oh. Oh, he has two lives too. I hope you didn't think it would be that easy. Oh, shit. There's gold in them cards. Oh, man. Really? Just fucking killed my things. Gold! I struck gold! Oh, and now you have a bloodhound. When an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, a card bearing the sigil will move to the empty space. So I can attack him directly right now. I do have a squirrel already, and I do have a sparrow and then whatever. Uh, oh, wolf cub. Wolf cub with the power of the death adder. Uh, okay, so uh, I'm gonna set down the squirrel. The wolf cub can can murder the coyote already. Oh shit! I don't have slots to place anything else though. What am I gonna do about this? Get him! Oh, he's gonna break it. Okay, I see. Uh, I only have squirrels in my deck now. That's that's a problem. What does the porcupine do? Yo! Is Nib rating with nine viewers? Thank you so much for the raid, man. Oh man, thank you, thank you so much for the raid. That's very sweet of you. Hello, raiders. I've never played this game. I don't know what I'm doing. I am trying my best. Oh, Sean, thank you so much. You didn't need to do that. Oh, you're so sweet, Sean. I love you so much. Thank you. Anyone, uh, anyways, welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Isaac. People call me Yozura. And I'm playing a scary card game that I've never played before. And I'm in the middle of a boss battle. I'm not sure what I'm doing, but I am trying my best. Welcome, welcome everyone. Welcome, Miznib. Welcome, Sean. Welcome, Akuma. <laughs> no worries, my friend. Sean sent us here. Thank you. Sean is a sweetheart. I love her so much. Thank you again, though. Anyways, let's see what is happening, though. Because, basically, um, for people who just arrived, um, this boss, whenever you defeat him the first time, he turns your cards into gold. And I'm not sure what I'm doing. Oh, thank you for the follow, isn't it? That's very, very, very sweet of you. Uh, what am I doing, though? I'm going to set down the squirrel. Yozra also a fellow English teacher. Yeah, I teach, but I don't have the title of a professor. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna set my, my porcupine down. Because the porcupine, once the card bearing the sigil is struck, the striker is then dealt a single point of damage. So it's gonna damage that guy for now. And my wolf is gonna attack directly, since it, it's unopposed right now. I can grab the emergency squirrel if I need it, but for now it's fine. Of course. <laughs> You guys are so sweet. Okay, and it's gonna die. Authority rebuke. And you're gonna die, right? Uh, okay. I'm still gonna do three more points of damage. All teachers are important. A title is just a title. Oh, Sean, you're amazing. Such an amazing human being. Um, okay, now I can set down my squirrel and I can sacrifice it for the sparrow. And it's gonna... Oh, it's not even gonna kill the Bloodhound, because Sparrows fly. So it's just gonna attack directly. Does that mean I win? Because it's 4 damage. Yeah, I did it! Yeah, I just did it! Nice, 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 nice. Allow me to light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. Whew. Oh, I got I get my, my life back, and I got a, a, an achievement. Miner's Bane. You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you are granted an, op an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. Okay. GG, thank you. Yo, first run prospector. Yeah! I mean... 
I don't think it was that hard. It's just a matter of um, you guys giving me good tips. Jesus, <laughs> what is this? Uriuli. <laughs> this level of brutish strength needs no explanation. It's just an overpowered card, but I need four sacrifices for that. I don't think I need that. I don't think I can play that. A largely unimpressed specimen. It's a larva that becomes something. Yeah, it's going to turn into a probably a butterfly, so a flying. A poor abandoned child. It does not die when sacrificed, but do you have the heart to try? Child 17. What does that mean? Urayuli is the boy. <laughs> I mean, okay, okay, okay. I can have another sacrificing card, which would be pretty good if I could sacrifice two cards every single turn. But it's very risky because after you place a card down, it's just there. He's kind of mad, but he's cool. Child 13 is broken. Okay, I'll go with you. Because it would be good to have two sacrificing cards. So I'm going to go with that. And I still have my, my uh, emergency squirrel if I need be. With the sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carry it onwards. Oh, we're going. Hmm. Okay, now it's what I expected. You can choose your path. The rank smell of rot and mold permeated the humid air. This game seems rather cool. It's, it's very fooled with atmosphere. I feel like the style of the game is pretty nice. It's basically a card game so far. It's just a card game with a, a little bit of lore. But this style is so good. Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or slither. You tread cautiously into the wetlands. Yay, we're in the wetlands now. Okay, let's go. Oh, I can choose a new card. Ah, the elusive other. It submerges itself during my turn. Wait, so it's invulnerable to attack. But then I get attacked directly, right? That's risky. Adder. Another adder. Ooh, mantis. The fervid mantis. Its prying claws strike both to the left and to the right. Ooh. I think I want the mantis. Because the otter might be good because it, it's, like, immortal. But at the same time, it might be a uh, double-edged sword because I'm going to get attacked directly. So maybe the mantis is the way to go. It's very squishy. But I can probably, like, set it to attack two things at once. Which is gonna be, yeah, mantis. I'm going to go with mantis, too. Um, okay. I do ha still have items. You sacrifice his ability and give it to three damage and can you enter. Ooh, I see. That's interesting. I'm gonna go with with the fireplace now. Make someone stronger. A group of starving survivors stood around the dying campfire. Oh yeah, I I need to enhance the power of one card. I know how to. No way. Oh, so this toad doesn't have the power anymore. Um, shout thirteen mantis. Should I just power the mantis right now? No, I'm gonna leave him be. I'm gonna power up this toad because it has 3 HP. Or, or I could go th with the snapper. I'm using the snapper as a tank, so I'm gonna go with this toad. Because I want him to be a, an attacking card and also a, a card that has a good sigil. The power of this toad was enhanced by the warmth. As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from a pocket, pocket you withdrew. Withdrew. Jesus Christ. English is hard. Um, let's go. Another fight. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Stump. Um, Kingfisher. What, is, what does that mean? A card bearing the sigil will strike an opponent directly, even if there's a creature opposing it. What? Oh, it has two things. It also has the, the waterborne. A card bearing the sigil will submerge itself. Mm, that seems complicated. So I'm gonna get attacked directly anyway, so I might as well just go with the attack. My stone is pretty powerful already. Total misplay. Don't judge me! Why would you judge me? And I can put the Mantis down too. Nice. I could just put the Wolf and deal like 6 damage already, right? I'm sorry Mantis, but I'm gonna sacrifice you. 
I'm gonna do six damage. Doesn't that win? <laughs> you dealt me more damage than you needed to win. However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. To be precise, a tooth, a tooth to keep for each extra damage dealt. The trapper may be interested in your spoils. I see. Nice, that's interesting. So you can win on the first win or, or the first turn if you have a good draw. That's fun. You were stopped along the way by a trapper looking to liquidate his spells. His spells, I'm sorry. There was something uncanny about his appearance, but you were quickly distracted by his wares. How brutal of you. <laughs> oh, care to look at my belts? Sure, bro. Let me look at your belts. Oh, so I trade um, the thing. Wait, take a pelt. Take a pelt free of charge. See the quality? So I trade pelts for for teeth. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I can thank you for that. That's three with five, that's eight. So I can't buy uh, the most expensive one. Uh, I'm gonna buy a wolf pelt and a rabbit pelt. And then I'm gonna go. You're leaving already? Please consider me pelts. I already considered them. I don't have any more money. Thanks for your business. It's reco I recommend keeping the pelts regardless of how annoying they can be. They will save you later on. Okay. The man assured you of the value of the pelts. They appear to be useless in a fight. But he mentioned that the trader further down the path would reward you for them. Wait, wait, wait. We're, you're telling me that I should not play the card pelt in the table. Is that what you're telling me? Oh, another campfire. Okay, um, who am I gonna enhance? Can I enhance the same card again? Um, I think I'm just gonna enhance one of my wolves now. Should I enhance the stoat? Or the bullfrog? The bullfrog is a counter to flying enemies. So I don't think... The bullfrog is not even that good because it doesn't have much health. I'm just going to power this toad again. The survivors were right about the flames. They enhanced the creature's power. Spotting a few of the survivors drooling made a hasty retreat with your toad. Yeah, I'm going to enhance the toad. It has 4 damage now. It's pretty good. What is that? I can have Torn or I, ha I can have um, regular fight. Um, there's also two blood, whatever that means. That I don't know what that is any yet. I think I'm going to go this way just so I can do the thing that you said. Because if I use the Stoat now, I can basically make the Stoat strong. Got to go. Thank you for showing up, Akuma. Thank you for the raid. See you later. <clears throat> Okay, so I have a wolf belt already in my hand. Um, coyote, kingfisher, and another kingfisher. Okay, squirrel, bullfrog. Um, how much damage does do they do? They do one. So I could negate one damage if I use the bullfrog. I don't think it's necessary. Am I going to die in their turn? Because that's four damage. Um... Hello, Ahmed. How are you doing, bro? Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you're having a, an amazing day, too. I mean, I have been a blast with this game already. Um... Okay, I'm gonna play the bullfrog. It might be counterintuitive, but I don't want to take one damage. And it's gonna stop the, the things from dealing um, straight damage to me. Because this one is going to protect me. And they're going to swim. So I am doing one damage right now. Um, squirrel. And then I go with wolf. Okay. 
I can attack that, so I'm gonna go. I don't know. I quite know if placing the pelts will lose them, but that's up to to test. I don't want to risk it. If you tell, you're, you're telling me that they're important, so I don't want to risk them. Okay, but now I'm dealing three damage, and he's dealing three damage. Um, I need more squirrels. I'm I'm gonna not waste my squirrel right now, cause I'm fine. I'm dealing enough damage. I can survive as long as I want. Yeah, I can survive as long as I want right now. Oh, except the otter doesn't fly. That's pretty bad, though. Child 13. Okay, so... That would be nice, but... Oh, shit. There's another otter right behind it. Hmm. Okay, so I have... Um, sacrifices now. I need the stoat. Oh, Wolf Cub works too. Um, okay, so Squirrel. Um, sacrifice the Child 13. And then I sacrifice the Wolf Cub to go to this side. Wait, what? It, oh, when I sacrifice it, it becomes something. When a card bearing deciduous sacrifice, it does not perish. And it's a flying enemy. That. That was by accident, but let's pretend I, I planned that all along, so I can seem smarter than I am. <laughs> you know, Yozora, today I have taken the worst exam of my life. I'm sorry to hear that, bro. Why would you say that? Oh, yeah, you, you told me that you had the... Um, you did your absolute worst. You told me that you wanted to... You had to make a drawing thing. So I can just keep sacrifice. Oh, when I sacrifice it, it goes to sleep. And when I sacrifice it again, it goes to not sleep anymore. Okay, good to know. But I think I win because you didn't block the way. <laughs> Told you that child 13 is broken. <laughs> what whoa, was the, the drawing test, right, Ahmed, that you had to do? I'm sorry to hear that, bro. The inviolable beehive. When it's attacked, you would draw a bee. Aw, that's cute. River otter and the other. I will draw a bee. What is a bee, though? Once a card bearing deciduous is struck, a bee is created in your hand. A bee is defined as one power, one health, airborne. Ooh, that's pretty good. If I can oppose it to a... Uh... To a one damage thing, I can have two bees and then have two sacrifices. Nah, it was physics. Ugh. I hope you can recover soon, bro. I don't want you to go bad on your on your things. I need to sacrifice the mantis, right? No, sacrifice the mantis. And put it on the sto Oh, I can't put it on the stoat. Hi, Exotic! How you doing, bro? Welcome. <clears throat> Welcome, everyone. Now everyone is here. Hello. If you buff the beehive, the bees will also be buffed. Okay, good to know. Okay, now I have to do whatever that is. I actually did, rec did recently in drawing. What do you mean? Oh, what is happening? Um, first of all, okay. Mighty Leap. A card bearing the sigil will block an opposing creature bearing an airborne sigil. So I can't... Uh, don't put your fingies here. Uh, ooh, that actually gave me the creeps. God damn it. Uh, the fingies. Jesus Christ. It's gonna do like five, four damage on the first turn. That's bad. And I have two pelts. I see that. Yeah, I'm taking a break from Brawlhalla because May is taking a break from Brawlhalla. Okay, squirrel. Okay, the coyote is gonna kill my bullfrog if that's the case. Ah, uh, does it? It's gonna submerge. I just need to do counter damage. I'm sorry to hear about the ads, exotic, but I I can't do anything. It's Twitch, bean bitch. That is bad. Oh man, I can't do anything. 
what is this? They you to the user. You will place a weight on the scales. The pain is temporary. What? Um, they're gonna do four damage. I'm gonna do one with this two. Then it's gonna be two damage. They're still going to win. I can't do anything. Succubus, I got violated by the game. Um, I don't want to die, so I'm going to use my thing. Ow! I didn't know that's what he meant. Ugh. Oh, God. That's terrible, though. They're going to do four damage. Yeah, they're going to do four damage. I'm going to do one. So... Okay, just focus. Just I, if I don't survive, it's okay. And there's an otter coming too, and I'm dead. I should have sacrificed the, the squirrel, but if I sacrificed the squirrel, I would have died next turn anyways. How disappointing! Ah, it's not my fault. You're you're the one who's an asshole, and I need to replenish my items now. Beehive. Wait, what? Bullfrog. River Otter. I don't want River Otter. I'm gonna grab another beehive. Wait. Why can I not go there? Oh, this is not a path. I thought that was a path. That's problematic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> The mushroom means it... Oh, I have it already. Okay, I'm gonna power the, this thing now. I'm gonna power the child 13, because it's very powerful. The fire warmed the weary child 13 and enhanced its power. You suspected the intentions of the survivors were less than pure. With your child 13 in tow, you retreated into the woods. The mushroom means it will be the dupe, which can be used for something down the line. Oh, I see. Okay, second boss then. I don't think I'm gonna win this one. A foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. A hulking man sat by the brackish pond with his feet submerged in the dark water. He pulled a hook from a pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. I am the angler, goldfish. Nice! I'm so hyped, this game is so fun! Okay, what do we have here? Um, Kingfisher, it's gonna submerge. Okay. I do have a stone already. And I have the wolf with the, the power of a thousand suns, so... I have good hand in my hands, having hand things going on. Fine. Um, and next turn. If I grab a squirrel next turn, I can just... Um, do my thing. Okay, one. Which fish? Hard to choose. Wait, what? He's marking my thing. I don't like that. Um, I need a squirrel. Prefer. Oh, fresher fish. Easy to choose. Wait, what? Um, anyways, I'm gonna sacrifice the squirrel, sacrifice the stoat, and then new fish, fish, easy choose. There we go. Whoa, that was weird. Too fast, too soon. Aw, oh, man, what the fuck is this? What is this? Aw, oh, man, you're cheating! Why are you cheating? Come on! Suck! He's cheating! What is this? Come on, man. I don't like that. Why are you cheating? And I got a wolf belt. Wonderful.
the game's pro blocking you for pro get asking too fast. Aw, oh, man, that's cheating. Ha, huh, go fish. Bl and I got an achievement, Blood Artist. Whoa. Oh, the hands give me the creeps. I don't like it. Aw, oh, man, why the game cheating on me? I don't like that. Aw. Just because I'm decent at the, at the game doesn't mean you gotta block me up, bro. <clears throat> you aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. Though you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you for a favor. I would like a memento. Your very own death card. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We will work together to amend that. I hate to see it happen, but it's pretty necessary. Aw, oh, man. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. Here are some cards from your mediocre deck. If it's mediocre, why are you stopping me? We can put them to good use. Please choose a card to draw the cost from. I'm gonna use the belt. Because then it's a free card, basically. So I'm gonna make a very overpowered card, is what I'm gathering from this. Yeah, I'm gonna use the pelt. I don't care if the pelt has other uses. This is a pretty overpowered use already. A cost of three from the rabbit pelt. Pick the cheapest cost. Yeah, and another. This time I will use its power and health numbers. Power and health? Oh, that's... Oh man, really? I'm gonna grab the, the snapper then, because at least I have a lot of health. One power and six, six health from the river snapper. Now choose a card from which we will extract the sigils. I'm gonna extract the, the mantis thing? Ooh, if I use the beehive, that means I have a six card. I'm sorry. Sneezing. I don't like sneezing. Um, if I use the beehive, then that means I'm gonna get a lot of cards, right? Yeah. The Sigil of Bees within from the beehive. I never did ask your name. Um, my name is gonna be. Plumbus. Thank you. My name is going to be Plumbus. There is now but one final matter. The portrait. Ugh, I don't like his eyes. If you had higher power, I have picked the wolf, but it's one damage. I don't... Oh, I see. You do not need to smile. Aw, oh, man. I wanted to smile. Okay. Does that mean I am dead now? He, does he kill me after he, he takes the picture? Oh, here we go again. Another challenger. Oh, so that's why the game starts with continue. There's no new game. Interesting. So I'm, I'm locked in a loop.